Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy, gave me named it. This is my first episode um, since I have returned from my business trip. I was in Texas all last week and I uh, just got back yesterday. Um, and so the video that I released with me killing the Broodmother, uh, Gamma and Beta Broodmother, I actually recorded that before I left, but I didn't have enough time to get it rendered and then... Uh, upload and publish before I had to leave. So uh, this is, in fact, the first uh, video that, uh, that I'm recording since I got back. Now, I've actually spent many hours, I mean, <laughs> oh my gosh, all kinds of hours, um, just grinding like crazy, getting um, resources for to make the uh, Ascendant, these Ascendant Theory Saddles. They're just so damned expensive. Um, and so what I have out here is I've got my Theory Army... Uh, lined up, ready to go, and I have, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four. So I have four Ascendant Saddles already on them, so I need needed to, to grind up resources to make 16 more. Um, and so that's what we're going to do, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Mind Wipe and then pump uh, crafting skills as high up as I can make it to make those, and then I'll do a Mind Wipe and get, you know, get the regular stats later. Uh, as far as the critters go, I haven't really done much with them. Um, I need to take pull these female rexes out of here and move them into the the training group or, or the leveling group, I should say. These guys are all waiting to be leveled too. Um, and then I got a bunch of critters inside the barn, but I want to focus on getting Alpha Broodmother down first. Um, and I don't want to spend resources making you know new basic saddles for these guys because I need them to make the uh, ascendant saddles for the theories. Okay, so um, let's go ahead then and hop in here. And I have a mind wipe tonic. And what we're going to do is consume that. Boom. And there goes all of our points. Okay. Uh, <laughs> including um, my ability to carry anything. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I took some things out of my inventory because I figured something like this would happen, but I'm still too heavy. Jeez Louise. Okay, so what is it? Uh, I guess it's maybe the ammo here. So let's throw that. N what? It, it can't be my armor. Okay, let's throw that ammo down too. Oh my God. This is crazy. Okay, so we'll pick the ammo back up. And, and yeah, we'll, we'll just stick this stuff in here for now. And I'm not planning on going anywhere while uh, we, we're doing this respec. So let's put a few more things in here just to lighten up just a touch more. Uh, just in case, though, I do forget or something and go outside, let's, let's bring a few shotgun shells with us and keep the shotgun on our toolbar. Okay. So, all right, yeah. So what we're going to do then is, oh, and by the way, uh, I still don't have all of the ingots that I need. Um, I even built another industrial forge and put it upstairs. So I don't... Yeah, we we may not be able to make all of them, uh, depending upon, you know, if the ingots finish in time. See, I, I put... This is just temporarily. I'm not necessarily going to keep it here all the time. Uh, but I just have it working on ingots right now, too. So... We'll, we'll make as many as we can, and then, you know, if we don't have enough metal, I'll just have to wait. Cut the camera and wait until we get the rest of them. Okay, so anyway, let's go here, and I'm basically going to... I don't know if I can throw all of these points into crafting scale, if there's a cap on it, or... It looks like it might let me just max this, or put everything in here. And if you guys didn't know this, um, when you your crafting skill basically allows you to... Um, it allows you to craft higher quality items and also craft faster. Unfortunately, it doesn't reduce the number of materials that you need for it. Okay, so we need to make a total of 16 of these. Again, I don't think I have enough metal to do 16. I should have enough of everything else. We got... A metric butt ton of, uh, of hide in here. I've got 
um, all of the wood that I think I need, all of the fiber that I think I need. Um, and then the metal, like I said, is um, still smelting. So let's just pull resources pull for 15. Okay, so we have enough to make 15 of these. Okay, so let's go ahead and make 15. And then we'll, like I said, we'll just have to wait till we have enough metal to make the 16th one, and then we'll see what we're getting here. That one's 209, very nice. So already quite a bit more armor than the, just the default setting. That one's 193. We'll, we'll take whatever the highest one is, we'll take and put it on the Therizino that, that will ride ourselves. I'm not planning on using Dadons or... That was 177. Not planning on using Dadons in the... Uh, or Udys for Broodmother Alpha. I think we'll be able to pull this off without them. Okay, so um, the highest one that we crafted is 229 right here. So that is going to go on, I think, right? Yeah, that's going to go on um, the uh, the theory that will ride. Now, can I can I even carry one of these? Yeah, <laughs> carry one. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is cut the camera. I'm going to get these saddles all fitted, and then when we get to, and just wait for the metal, uh, the rest of the metal to finish, so we can make the last saddle. And then I think we'll go take on Alpha Broodmother. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys, we are back and uh, ready to go into the arena. <coughs> I'm just going to grab a couple of these things here. Um, so, yeah, I ran into a problem, and that is that the default setting for Mind Wipe Tonic is 24 hours so i went into the server and turned that off but unfortunately the timer has already started so uh i'm basically going to do this <laughs> with no levels except for the crafting skill um and it's been i've spent a, f a few hours since um earlier in this episode gathering up the artifacts and all the other stuff and man it's just been such a hassle without especially the weight more than anything you know not having any weight uh to do this so yeah but i don't want to wait 24 hours in real life for that damn thing to reset um i could use admin commands to give myself more <coughs> xp but i kind of don't want to do that either because i don't want to artificially screw that up you know so i think we're just going to go for it. I mean, I should be fine as long as I don't dismount. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. I got all the stuff. And we are going to uh, ride on OG's ride. And he is... Yeah, he has his um, uh, whistle. Ignore whistles. So when we get in there, I'm going to whistle to everybody to attack the brood mother. They should take off, and this guy should stay behind, so that way I can hop on him. But here we go. We're doing alpha brood mother. Um, okay, where's OG's right? Okay, here we go. And where is the brood mother? There she is. Go. Oh, okay. Just gonna put everybody on. This is always such a cluster when you first start. I wish the I wish the game would have some way that we can bring these guys in here in a more organized fashion instead of just a big cluster fuck every time, you know. But anyway, um, everybody's got high-end saddles on, and I. I'm expecting to be able to do this, and hopefully we can do it without losing any of the theories. I've already got her down over halfway. So I think we're going to be fine. Let's 
Man, there's quite a bit of kickback on that, isn't there? So our dino's health is about 60% right now, but yeah, we just about got her. And she's down. Soldier 23 has got the stuff. We got the tech helmet, Mosasaur tech, and tech turret. Very cool. All right. Good deal, man. So, yeah. There you go. We did not lose any theories, and we took down Alpha Broodmother with no Dadons and no UD Roars. Ooh, it's hot in here. But we're going to be popping out here in just a few minutes. Um, here, let's hop off of here. Soldier 23, I think it was, right? That is the one that got the stuff. Yep, look at that, man. 148 element. And we got the alpha head. Nice. So we're, we'll start a trophy room um, in the house. And uh, so the next thing we're going to do now, of course, we're going to start working on Megapithecus. My plan is to use our Rexes on Megapithecus, but I don't know. I mean, I'll bet you our, our Theries will have no trouble with them. Um, I mean, we could probably use the Theries for all three levels of Megapithecus if we wanted to. I am planning on using them for the Dragon, too. So, yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to figure out how I'm going to do that. What we could do maybe is take the Theries in and do... You know, Gamma and Beta Mega Picket, because just to get more Ingrams for the tech stuff. Um, and then, you know, kind of see from there. And it's just that, and I've mentioned this before, I'm just kind of looking at the health on all of these guys. You got a level, nice. It's just that we're kind of running out of time in this series because it, because it is my tentative plan to start something new when Arc Ascended comes out, which is going to be happening very quickly. Uh, well, if things stay on schedule. But yeah, look at these dinos. Nobody's nobody's close to death, as from what I can see. Everybody's down about 60, you know, 40, 40 to 60 percent, 50 percent. So that's really good. In fact, most of them are even over 50 percent. I don't see anybody that's really bloody. Yeah. So yeah, these guys, th that was like no contest. <laughs> that was really easy. Uh, okay, cool. So, and but you know, like I said, the reason I got these, I did the saddles now, is because we're also going to use these guys for the dragons. So now they all have really high-end saddles, and we could probably, um, I'm sure we could actually take on Gamma Dragon right now if we wanted to. Um, but I don't have all the stuff for it, you know, the artifacts and all the stuff it needs. So, anyway, um, I'm going to go back to the base and kind of get these guys situated and then I'm not sure what we'll do for the rest of this episode um, so we'll figure something out so I'll see you guys in a bit all right guys we are back at the base here and I've got all the theories lined up and I'm just gonna let them passively heal up before I cryo them I'll put them back in cryo pods I don't think animals heal in cryopods, or if they do, it, it's pretty slow. So we'll just leave them out there, let them heal up, and then I'll put them away tomorrow. I did uh, tame a level 150 Dadon uh, in Asgard. And I'm just keeping keeping it on ice right now until we can get a female. But I guess we could pull it out and have it have it do some healing. Don't see why not. Okay, so let's see. We need to. I guess we need a saddle for it first. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it has to have a saddle, but we'll give it one. Let's see if I have a date on saddle in here. I do. I've got a nice one, actually. Oh, that's heavy. 
Yeah, we're, uh, this just sucks, man. Not, <laughs> not having any weight. It's terrible. It's hard to get anything done. But, um, hopefully, you know, I, I turn the setting off that requires the 24 hour cooldown. So hopefully the next time I do a, a, uh, whatchamacallit, it won't be a big deal. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we can we can actually start leveling this guy now because I can tell what its original points are <coughs> just from the spyglass. But I think it's food. Food's the big thing here. Well, food and health. Um, but let's do this. Let's grab some raw meat. Um, I don't know. Say two thousand. Okay, and then if we, let's put you on, no, put you on passive, and then if we go enable passive healing, I think he'll, yeah, there he goes, okay, cool. Nice. So, Trying to remember how this... Oh, that's right. Okay, so he heals in, all the way until his food wears out. Then he has to replenish it. Now, how come he's not eating, though? Oh, he is. It just takes him a while. Okay. I wonder if... um. Oh, he's just eating from the trough. Yeah, okay. We didn't even need to put that in there. I wonder if there's... um A different kind of food that works better... I don't know. It's been a while since I've used these guys. Let's put that back in the trough. Okay. Nice. All right, so with him doing his thing, uh, these guys will heal a lot more quickly. Uh, but what I want to do for the rest of this episode is I want to go ahead and make some tech stuff because we got quite a few Ingrams now. Um, let's put all these in here. Of course, the first thing we want to start with is the uh, the tech replicator, and I'm not sure how big that thing is. Um, we're gonna do. Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do trophies too. Excuse me while we're at it. Um, so if we let's see, if we go here. We go trophy wall mount. Set that. Okay. And then do we just make that in our own inventory? Yeah, it looks like we do. Okay, so we just need wood and cementing paste. Not enough inventory space or weight. Oh jeez. Okay. Um how much cementing paste does it require? 80. So let's grab that. Um, where the hell is my cementing paste? I should have cementing paste in here. Did I put it in here? Yes. Okay. So let's grab that and we'll split this into 80. Okay, so that takes care of that. And then I think it needed 200 wood, right? Yeah. Okay, so, um, what I figured we'd do is probably put Mega here, Dragon here, and we'll put Brood Mother in here. And I'm not, I'm not really worried about all three colors of heads. I think we'll just do the alpha head of each. That looks pretty, on there pretty good. There we go. Look at that. Awesome, man. <laughs> Very cool. And then we have the flags, too. Um, 
So let's see, where do we want to put the flags? Could put this might be lined up here. I think the flags are all the same color. Put this one here. Um, if I take this. Why? What happened to this, uh, the setting to pick stuff up? Seems like that is turned off or something. I do not know why. So I'm going to have to look at that. If we pull that out, I think that it's going to leave a little bit of a gap up there, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. There we go. You know, we could we could put the beta and gamma up above the alpha. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I might do that later. We'll see. Not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so let's put this back in building. All right, so tech replicator is the first thing we want to do. We want the S plus version of that. And so do we have enough stuff? Uh, yeah, we do. Wait, what? It's how come it's not lit up, though? I don't get it. Um, hmm. All right, maybe we let's let's try to make it in here, I guess. It doesn't show up in here. What the hell, man? Do we have to make this in our own inventory? We shouldn't have to. I'm confused. But it, it's it's darkened. Oh, you must learn this Ingram before crafting it. What? We we know that, don't we? Oh, you know what I think it is. We just know the vanilla. We gotta learn the we gotta learn the S plus one. That's what it is. Okay. I was like so confused there for a second. Okay. Now we should be able to make this. There we go. Awesome, man. Our first tech item. Okay. So, uh, I think this is pretty good size. Oh, yeah. Uh, where the hell are we going to put this thing? It doesn't even fit in here. Okay. Um. Hmm. Would it fit in here? No, that thing is enormous. Good lord. We could... We could put it in here, I guess, but it's still going to, like, clip. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's get this board out of here, too. Well, actually, all right, here, let's, um, I'm going to kind of clip out the sides a little bit. Let's just stick it in there and see what it, if it's potentially feasible. Doesn't seem to. Woo. <laughs> no, that isn't going to work. Why do they have to make them so damn big? 
Okay, um, does this have to be on foundations or does can you set it on the ground? Nope, it's got to be on foundations. Okay, so I'm going to have to make a place for this. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it. So... I mean, ideally we probably want to put it over here somewhere. Hmm. I don't have a lot of room with all these big critters around here. Is the thing. All right, let me think about this, and uh, I'll bring you guys back when I have a solution. Okay. So I think we can make just about anything in here, can't we? It looks like it. Looks like it uh, basically does everything the, a fabricator and a uh, workbench does. I'm thinking, or a smithy. Um, okay, so now we have learned the helmet, I think, and the boots so far in terms of the armor. Uh, let's take a look at this. Yeah, so we, we have the boots and the helmet. So that's the next thing I'd like to make. But I think uh, requires element. Do, do we just use normal element or can we use element shards? I don't remember. Let's grab... Uh, actually, I think I have element shards in here. Don't know if this will work or not. Yes, it does. Nice. Okay. And these are pretty easy to get, too, uh, relatively speaking. Okay, so that gives us the, the fuel. So now what we want to do is go to armor and tech armor. Okay, so do we have enough to make one of these? Oh shit, it used... Okay, hold on, take that out of there. It used element, not a shard. That's trippy looking. Hmm, okay. So I guess we need to turn it on first before we before we put normal element in there. Okay, now if we go here and here, we can make the helmet. Cool, man. Okay, and then for the boots, we have everything we need for the boots, look at that. Fantastic. Okay, so these don't have um, these don't have all that great of armor on them, though. I mean, compared to this. Hmm. So this has night vision. It's got targeting mode. It's got infinite oxygen. Okay, let's put that on and then highly advanced boots capable of absorbing the impact of falling from high distances. And can we, is that all these do or do they have like some kind of a boost too? I don't know. Okay, so how do we turn on like night vision and stuff? We hold this down. Cycle helmet visor. Helmet 
requires oh element okay probably real element too and not element shards i'm guessing so now we're gonna have to start carrying element with us um let's take i don't want to take a bunch of it yeah let's take that much so each time I do that, so, uh, cycle this, does it does it use an element? That seems really expensive. 23. Twenty-two. But does it does it have a charge then? This is a, like a friend or foe thingy, right? Yeah. All right, so if I switch it again... Now it's night vision. Did it use another element? No, it didn't. Okay, so I, I'm guessing that there's a, a timer on the charge. And the thing in the lower right-hand corner probably is a gauge that will show us when that goes down. Okay, so I'm glad it doesn't use an element every single time we do something, because that'd be bad, man. Uh, what does that do? Cycle helmet visor. Toggle helmet visor. Okay, that just turns it off and on, and, and this cycles it to the mode. All right, I got you. Well, this seems like a little bit better night vision than the night vision goggles. Because those are just crazy bright. All right, so let's toggle this off. Now, my boots do show up down here. Um, but I'm not sure what I do with them. Do I... Oh. What just happened? What did I just do with that element? I I held held control and clicked on it to separate one and it's just disappeared. Oh shit, what happened to it? It's not on the ground. Seriously? Did I just lose like 21 things? Oh no, it's down here. Okay. That was freaking me out, man. Um do I just here, let's uh, split one. Do I drag these on here? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. So, do the boots... See, nothing happens when I hold that down for the boots. So, I'm guessing that the only thing they do is protect me from falling from high places. Because that's what it says. Capable of absorbing the impact of falling from high distances. Targeting mode, infinite oxygen, and night vision. So, okay. So, I'm, we probably have to have, like, the chess piece, you know, to get, like, the jetpack function and all of that. This is cool, though. Definitely cool. We don't have to wear scuba gear anymore. At least not for air. So, yeah, nice. We're moving up in the world. So if I just leave this running, I guess it'll slowly consume this over time. But since this is so cheap to get, probably not a whole lot of reason to keep it running for now. All right, we can make element from the shards too. That's really good. Or we can make shards from element. Okay. Isn't there supposed to be a way that we can take element dust and turn that into element two? I don't know where we would find that at, though. Miscellaneous? What's that? Gotcha gavager structure? I don't know what the hell that is. Transfer control unit. Hmm. 
Hmm. I guess you use that with the Omni tool. Element Catalyzer. Crafts element, but requires direct contact with liquid element to function. Man, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Here's the cloning chamber. That's cool. Uh, this is the tech transmitter. Can tell. Oh, yeah, you can use this to teleport to boss arenas. You know, that's not that expensive. We might. I might actually make that. That'd be handy to have. A mutator. But, yeah, see, this is, a lot of this is S-plus stuff, though. It's not, like, normal vanilla, because some of that stuff seems really OP. Gas collector. A charge injector. Keeps the nameless at bay by injecting charge directly into the ground. All right. Drone terminal. Craft scouts and enforcers. That is cool stuff, man. That's, um, a camera. That's like, uh, I think that's like, um, extinction stuff. A loadout mannequin. Okay. So, I'm going to have to look up the element dust thing, because I know there's some way that we're supposed to be able to turn element dust into element, or at least into element shards. If I just type dust in here... No, that doesn't do anything. What about element? Yeah, I don't know. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. And I'm going to... Um... Well, here's what I'm, I'm kind of thinking. Since... Since I have respect, and I still got really high crafting, I'm thinking maybe what I might do is grind up the resources to make our Rex saddles. So, you know, while I'm still respect, and then and then then we can go back to normal later. It's going to take me many hours to do that, but since I'm already, you know, have the crafting skill maxed out at the moment, I'm thinking that might make sense. Uh, so that way we have the Rex saddles made too, and they'll be good to go. Uh, I think I am going to not use these guys for Megapithecus. I want to use the Rexes because, I mean, I've gone to all the trouble to, to raise and breed the Rexes for the purpose of doing Megapithecus. Um, well, and um, Steinbjorn too, of course. And I want to use them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so once I get all of that stuff done and kind of get a handle on all of my breeding, which is still kind of a cluster right at the moment, um, I'll bring you guys back in the next episode. And we are going to have to go after Artifact of the Devourer and I think I have the other ones that I already need. Does this... I wonder, does this test against gas, this helmet? Hmm. Let's run over to the swamp cave really quick, just to test that theory real quick, before we wrap things up. Uh, also, I want to get my Fjordhawk in case I... You know, we got all this expensive equipment on us now, so I definitely don't want to lose it, especially since my health is so bad right now. Um, here, let's, uh, let's get on our Maywing. I don't, I don't use the Maywing enough. So, yeah, let's just run over the Swamp Cave. I just want to see if this helmet will protect us from gas or not. I don't know if it will. Okay, so we're just going to dip our head in here real quick. Oh, shit. No, we're taking damage. Okay. Well, that, <laughs> that took my health down over half. All right, so we still need a gas mask in there. You would think the tech helmet would be able to protect us from that, but apparently it can't. So, it is what it is. Um, anyway, all right, guys. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. 
um, and we will uh, I'll do the grinding for all these materials to make those rec saddles and then the plan for the next episode will be to run the artifact of the devourer cave uh, I already have the brute and what else does Megapithecus need it needs the brute and oh and the pack and I already have those two so we're just gonna need to get the devourer and then you know what I might I might just just try Megapithecus Alpha right off the bat um, I think we can do it uh, with our Rexes especially if I use the uh, the next gen Rexes coming up because they're they're pretty tough and just do it you know once and get done with it um, the main you know we'll get all of the Ingrams from Gamma and Beta if we do it that way and then I don't have to gather up so much crap either uh, to do three fights in a row so that's the tentative plan but of course as always I reserve the right to change my mind so thanks everybody for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode bye bye Thank mm -hmm. you.